Hi guys, welcome to another OE4 video. In today's video, I'll be getting every single achievement as Australia. So without further ado, let's start. I'm first gonna take my entire army and let's exercise them. I'm gonna put one factory on guns, two factories on artillery, and one factory on support equipment for now. I'm just gonna produce convoys when it comes to ships. And I'm gonna research basic machine tools. And let's go for trucks. My first focus is never another Gallipoli. And we're gonna build one military factory in Tasmania and after that one in Victoria. What I should do is instantly ask UK for some land lease. And it's totally worth it. Our next focus is abandon the Westminster system. Let's get the army organization expert for some army XP. Next focus is Industries Assistance Corporation. Talking about industry, let's research this first industry one. Let's get the air reformer and let's research into our small airframe. And we finished this focus and now I'm not gonna pick the next focus for about three months or so. Because... I currently got 470 autonomy points, I need to have 551. We got another factory, let's produce guns for now. And here we are, 551 autonomy points. Let's pick the next focus and that's support the center party. Let's go for bombs. And let's use the research bonus for this person industry too. We should slow down the game after this focus is finished and instantly hire a fascist demagogue. Instantly prepare for civil war and expand civil support. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop these divisions in the queue. I also might delete two of my current ones. And now I have enough guns in stockpile so let's do supply an Indonesian nationalist focus. I'm gonna need this focus later on so I can create my own faction. Haha, <laughs> 69, haha. <laughs> ha. So let's do this decision one more time. Time. After the bombs, I'm gonna go for light machine guns. Okay, here we are at 50% stability. We still can't ignite the civil war, we need it to be 49%, but that's gonna happen sooner than later because we're losing the ruling party popularity quickly. I'm also gonna go for improved machine tools now, and here's a really cool thing Britain wants to send me land lease. I'm not gonna accept this yet, you'll see exactly why in a moment. Here we are 49% stability. Let's delete our entire army. Let's delete every single division in the queue. Let's just ignite the civil war. Establish advisory war council and look at this. I can accept the land lease from the UK now Despite the fact I'm fighting their literal puppet in a civil war next thing I'm gonna improve relations with the UK because I can't maintain this land lease They don't like me, but if I improve relations enough, they're gonna keep sending me stuff I'm also gonna ask Italy for military access I'm gonna improve relations with Germany and also let's improve relations with Japan. Yeah, I'm doing the land lease trick, but Come on we're Australia, we have great depression and weak industry, there's not many better things that we can do. I'm gonna use my army experience to go for state service and military for some more political power and let's go for political loyalty for more stability. Let's do a non-aggression pact with Italy, let's create a new template consisting of only one cavalry battalion and I'm gonna put like 10 of these into training. I'm gonna go for air crew surveys, let's start land leasing the anarchists I guess, but first I must make fake production of everything I've got researched. I can't make fake production of fighters, but that's okay, because I already got some of them, what I can do is just go here and hit D multiple times, now I got like minus 1000 fighters. So let's land lease everything to Anarchy Spain. And it's time to steal. And the best thing about this is I can steal it from the UK as well, as you can see. But UK is super generous when it comes to convoys. Look at this, 170 convoys in one month. I'm also gonna steal land lease from Italy, from Germany, and of course from Japan. I'm gonna go for Victorian Mechanical Engineering and let's deploy these divisions. I must make a naval invasion from Townsville to Darwin and also from Adelaide to Perth. The only factory this Australia has is one here and they got tons of steel up here so might as well take that. Next focus is Volunteer Defense Corps. Sure, these focuses on the left are more useful, I can even rush the third resource slot, but I need this one in order to get my conscription laws up. Just gotta keep stealing that land lease. Also, one important thing, I should start production of actual trucks, like two factories, because most of the countries won't land lease it to me. Anyway, as you can see, I took the sieve here and I took the resources right here. Sino-Japanese war just started and this is what I really want to see. Look at this, by justifying on these countries, I can raise the world tension and that's what I want. Only 55 days to raise the world tension by 22%. Let's improve artillery. Another thing I must make sure is that this war justification never finishes, so I cancel it like a day before. I don't want to fight Japan, I just want to raise the world tension by justifying on them. Let's go for Backroom Backstabber, he's gonna make this even better. There is a limit to this world tension, however, I must make sure it doesn't reach about 50%, because if it does, then the UK can join the Civil War and then I'm screwed. The next focus is Citizen Military Forces, and let's go for Radio. Let's cancel justification on Japan, let's start it again, this time taking only 35 days. And also one more thing, UK is not gonna send me any more land lease because I generated too much world tension, but it's alright, I can live it out there land lease. There's actually kind of a second way you can erase this world tension, that's by joining the Japanese faction and then leaving it and joining back every single day, getting like 0.5% a day. 
It's an annoying thing, but actually war tension goes to Japan, not to you. I might as well end this civil war before it ends me, before the UK joins. Before I end this war, I could actually do something super cool. Let's ask Hungary for military access to improve the relations. I'm also gonna ask Greece for military access. I wanted to steal their land list, but there is this bug. Even if you cancel the justification, which I did against Japan, I still increase the world tension, so it's kind of risky. Okay, I managed to steal the land lease from Hungary. 1,000 guns, let's go. I must capitulate Australia instantly, otherwise I'm gonna die. That's it, we took them out. Oh yeah, I forgot, Hungary is landlocked. <laughs> no legal transport path, yeah. Yeah, that's okay though. Anyway, I need to raise the world tension some more, so let's justify against Japan again. Also, I'm gonna turn my entire army into this template. I'm gonna make it 20 with infantry for now. Let's send them all to Perth. Got citizen military forces, which means I can go for limited conscription very cheaply. Let's now do National Security Act. Alright, I'm now gonna move my units into Europe. I can send them to Venice because I have military access to Italy. Cancel and re-justify on Japan. It doesn't even cost much, only 6 PP, that's nothing. Here we are, 100% world tension. Gonna cancel justification on Japan and let's now justify on Hungary. It's gonna take only 90 days and after Hungary I'm gonna justify on Turkey. It's gonna take 140 days. It's super quick. Let's keep building up mills. Oh, everyone is embargoing me, but mm, I don't really care. Let me get the basic small airframe instead. Also, I'll be changing out my template. Let's go for this one. 27 width with artillery. 10 of these divisions can destroy Hungary. Next focus is Army Invention Directorate for the third research slot. I gave these guys a general and I'm gonna give them, I guess, this guy as a field marshal. And now, since the world tension is at 100%, I can actually join the Axis. That's the whole point why I Wanted to raise the world tension, by the way. I couldn't join because of that distance modifier thing. Now I'm just gonna send my troops on the border of Hungary, like this. I'm gonna go for superior firepower. Gonna give my guys trucks. I'm also gonna deploy all of my planes in Austria. We got almost 300, that's good enough. I'm gonna go for air superiority. And let's go for war economy, I guess. And justification for Hungary is finished. I'm gonna wait a little bit more to attack them. Next focus I'm gonna do is support Indonesian uprising. Another thing I should do, let's build a railway from Thessaloniki to here. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start walking all of my divisions into this province. And after that into this Hungarian province. You see, I got military access from Hungary because they gave it to me, because they were so kind and nice, and now I'm gonna exploit their trust. Unbelievably goaded, I know. Yes, we can literally attack here. Once I break through here, I can start having a normal warfare with Hungary. They'll try to reinforce, I could have actually done this a bit better by having like two divisions attack here, to stop the reinforcements, but eventually we break through. We got way more divisions, we got better supplies, as you can see, we just broke through. However, I'm gonna micro this, I won't let the game do it for itself, because Hungary has supply issues, because the only supply hub is in Budapest, for some reason. So the only way I can win this war is if I encircle tons of their divisions. And here we are, our very first encirclement. To capitulate Hungary, we also must take Petsch, so I can take the city now. Let's get infrastructure destruction. And these three divisions are about to be destroyed. They left the Budapest, which means I can just cap them now. But I'm gonna first destroy their divisions. That way I can level up my generals more. Justification for Turkey is finished, but I got another two months until I have to attack them. And that's it. Hungary is gone. I have to annex them, unfortunately. I can't just puppet them to get the achievement. Here it is. It's finished. Now I'm gonna release Hungary as my puppet. Let's send my entire army to Venice. And after that they're all gonna go to Thessaloniki. Also, I'm gonna send my entire navy to Thessaloniki. Another thing I must do, let's run an invasion from Germany to Greece, and assign every single division there, and let's assign five divisions to this naval invasion that goes right here. Let's also assign another five divisions, which have exact same naval invasion. That way I have to prepare for only 35 days instead of 70 days. And let's put six divisions into training. And here we are, we have an Indonesian uprising. Next focus has been bypassed, and let's do a deal with Japan. This focus is the funniest one, even though this is not my puppet anymore, or even my ally. We're basically gonna give up their land to Japan without them even consenting. Let's declare war on Turkey. Let's now do strike force here, and we should be able to naval invade. Let me get these six divisions. Send them to Venice, and after that, send them down to Greece. And I'm gonna convert them to my own template. If they move the divisions here, I'm going to cancel the naval invasion. Usually, in my test runs, what's shown to be actually fatal is if they had any divisions here or no. They just randomly move them around, so sometimes there's a division there, sometimes they're not. If there is not, that's good. If there is, then we control in one province, and then they just destroy your divisions. Let's get heavy machine guns, and let's launch off these naval invasions. I'm also gonna send these six divisions into Alexandropolis, right next to Turkey. And Greece attacked Albania. This can be actually bad, because if Italy takes this province, we're gonna have bad supplies. There is a supply hub in Edirne. Taking it is all that we need, really. That's because I built a railway from Thessaloniki all the way here 
All I need to do now is to take Edirne and build a railway from Alexandropolis to there. It shouldn't take that long, only about a week or so. Also, this should get me the achievement, once again mate. Here it is, because for that you need to actually control Edirne and not Gallipoli. Another good thing here is the Gallipoli port is actually encircled, which means I can do the port exploit and destroy the divisions here. And I think the railway has been built now. Yes, it has, which means we're now going to have some supplies here. So that's all we really need to defeat Turkey. We got the supplies here, and we also got a port which we can cheese to actually destroy their divisions. In the meantime, I could go for improved worker conditions. Let's get delay, and let's keep destroying these divisions here. And here we are. We finished the deal with Japan. They approve alliance. I think I joined their faction now. Yes, I do, but the thing is I can just leave it. And for some reason, I still get the ability to create factions now. Which means I'm done with this part of the focus tree. It's trash, I just needed to have the rules so I can create factions. Let's now invest in victory. I also got the infantry expert trade for this guy. Also, let's go for local police force. Yes, thank you, Italy. At this point, I'm not even stealing land lease, just so you know. I mean, we got enough of it. Turkey is almost gone, so let's justify against our next country. That's gonna be Bulgaria. Computing machine. Okay, so I destroyed enough of divisions here. I'm finally gonna take Gallipoli. I took Gallipoli, so I'm gonna fall back like this. I'm just going to encircle them and make one final push and take out Turkey. Let's squash the Squanderbox now. We took Istanbul, let's cross the strait and let's destroy these divisions. I also managed to steal an airport in the process, so let's use it. Bro, I'm having the biggest bug ever in the game. Look at this. I can't unassign my divisions for naval invasion, which is currently invisible. I can't unassign them, I can't put them into new army, and it's invisible because it was not possible to do before. Oh my god, this game! Thank you Paradox for fixing the naval invasion exploit and in the process destroying the game even more. Let's get improved small airframe. Justification on Bulgaria is finished, so I better hurry up. Next focus, civil construction corpse. As you can see, we have an issue that Australia always has, that's manpower. And Turkey is gone. So I'm gonna steal their navy. Puppet, get the war operations. I'm also gonna get resource rights in Nizbit and Ankara because that's where the steel is. I don't care about chromium. Let's get mobile defense and now it's time to attack Bulgaria. As you can see, once again, I cannot control these divisions. So I have to actually delete my divisions. I'll have to redeploy them again in Australia. Thanks, Paradox. Thank you for fixing this game. Also train some Turkish divisions, just pure infantry, just so I can actually have some Foots on the ground, feet on the ground, not foots, oh my god. Oh yeah, I think I made a fundamental mistake in this run, and that's I didn't take Edirne state. You'll see why now. I'm gonna declare war on uh, Bulgaria, and I can't attack from here. When I call in Turkey, they won't accept. Because this is how you pour. Once again, this game is so... Yeah, I, I made a fundamental mistake. Let me make a naval invasion that's gonna disappear, and then I won't be able to assign divisions from. Let me create a faction with Italy real quick, and now I'm the faction leader, yay. I'm also gonna join the Greek-Italian war. Can you join? Okay, finally, Bulgaria joined. This was overtly complicated just to call somebody into the war. Also, it's time to finally start making some planes. Let's go for basic small airframe, I'm gonna slap some heavy machine guns onto it, and I guess that's good enough for now. I think 10 factories of these is gonna be good enough. And we made an encirclement in Burgas, let's destroy it. Greece has capitulated, I don't have any score, so yeah, I can just confirm an exit. I'm gonna get these guys into new army, get them the same guys, they have to redeploy, yeah that's two weeks of losing experience and benefits, but that invisible naval invasion is now gone. Also what I can do now, I could actually go for total mob, but we're in Australia, we don't really have manpower for that. Instead I'm gonna go for infantry genius, and let's destroy Bulgaria. Me on my way to get in a circle just to steal the Romanian capital. Capital stolen successfully. Division encircled successfully. <laughs> I guess this wasn't a good idea, but I guess it was for the memes or whatever. That's it, Bulgaria is gone. I'm gonna puppet them, steal their sieves, steal their resources, the little that they have. And now we have a direct border and direct war with Romania. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. I'm not gonna fight Romania almost at all. Instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a fallback line. I'm gonna justify on Yugoslavia, yeah. What's the best way to win wars? Just make more enemies. Let's now do five wars and perish, because this focus is gonna get me ability to get all these other conscription laws. Look at what I just achieved. When the Plovdiv fell, Bulgaria capitulated. Burgas is now occupied by Romania. That's a port. I think you know what happens next. You definitely know what happens next. Oh, look at this. Six divisions, actually seven. Oh, this is so great even more. Romania just went from like 20 to almost 200,000 casualties. Now I have an actual fighting chance against Romania. Everyone gangsta till Dobrich is the capital of Bulgaria. And finally we can go for extensive conscription. 
Next focus is rationing and recycling. Alright, it's over for Romania, let's take it out. Let me kick it to a different faction, dismantle the faction, and quickly create faction with them again. Turkey is now fighting Romania, a country that guaranteed them in the first place. The only reason they are at war with them is because they protected them. That's an absolute betrayal. There we go, Romania is gone. What am I gonna do? I'm going to liberate uh, Moldova here. And I'm gonna pop at them basically everywhere. Except for this state in the north, I'm gonna give that state to, like, uh, I guess Bulgaria. That's because if Soviet Union does justify against them here, they're gonna attack them, not Romania. Let me also steal Romanian navy. I'm also gonna steal all of their resources, although there's not much except for oil. Now it's time for Yugoslavia. We're about to attack Yugoslavia, and here's the two things you can do. You can either just attack them and take them out, or there's a second option. You can try to get Italy to capitulate and end up in a civil war, they're gonna become your puppet and you're gonna have a free puppet Italy. However, that path is kind of buggy because after like three years, balance of power bugs and then they end up in a civil war again. So I'm not gonna do that today, although the test runs I did it. It's also a great agency, might need it someday. And also I'll be building up stuff in Hungary so that I lower their autonomy to an integrated puppet. Let's declare war on Yugoslavia right now. Let's call uh, Romania to war. Also, good news, I can buy aluminum from my puppet Hungary, finally. Anyway, let's go for classify aliens focus now. They're now justifying on me, on Bulgaria. It's gonna take them like uh, seven months. And that's it. Yugoslavia is gone. I'm gonna take Macedonia for myself. And I'm gonna puppet them in the rest and steal their civs and resource rights. Now I'm gonna start justifying on France. I won't actually attack them. But I wanted to move troops on border with Italy. Next focus is the fund Australian defense research. France is gone, we got the Vichy France, that's what I want to see. Let's start justifying on them. Let's go for service by requirement, and let's rush paratroopers, I might have to resort to using those. I have to actually dismantle my faction, let's kick out Italy, let's join the Axis. I can't just stay out of Axis because the Soviet Union is going to attack me, but they have an aggression pact with Germany, so by some logic they shouldn't be able to actually attack me. Let's go for standard gauge railway, I have to do all these pointless focuses now just to get a fifth resource slot. Also draw a naval invasion from here to like here. Australia and Yugoslavia joined Axis. Oh yeah, they had a coup. Actually, that's funny because now I got more factories from them, because when they're not aligned, integrated puppet, they give me more factories than if they were a rice commissariat. Yeah, that's so good. I'm gonna give my guys support artillery, I can't believe I never did this, how could I forget this? Let's give them engineers, also support anti-air, I think we got enough tanks to do armored recon. Yeah, we have exactly enough tanks, we have plus one tank. Now let's produce some of them then. Justification for Vichy is finished, let's attack them. And of course we don't have enough naval dominance. I guess I'm just gonna wait for paratroopers then. Next focus, Western Australian government railways. Since I have to do some paratroopers, let me get 50 transport planes. Department of Supply and Development is next. Let's finally lower the autonomy of Hungary. I got zero extra factories, that must be a bug. Let me load back the save. Of course it was. Play 4 try not to break after January 1940 moment. We've got the paratroopers, let's convert all these guys to paratrooper template. And it's time to paratroop them here and here. Alright, we did it. Now I can just simply push from here. I also need to send some divisions down to Libya because, yeah, they core this and this is big enough for them not to capitulate. We took nice, and I know I intentionally mispronounced it because I see that's what people now do on YouTube, so people get mad and write comments and they get boost in the algorithm or whatever. Honestly, one of the most annoying things people do. Let's get multi-altitude flying, and let's power drop here. And we just gotta push into Algeria now. Oh yeah, by the way, Soviet Union couldn't attack me, so the war goal in Bulgaria never expired, they're justifying again. They lost no aggression back with Germany. Okay, I just pulled myself a little bit more time. Now let's do Allied Works Council, although we're not in the Allies. Logistical bombing, we took out Vichy, I'm gonna take their navy. I'm gonna take their stuff here, because I don't want Japan stealing it from them. I'm gonna puppet them and steal their civs and resources everywhere else. Okay, I think we're kinda ready for this next step, and that's taking out the allies. Merge their entire navy, and I'll have to send them all to, like, Dunkirk or something. Let's also close our economy. I'm gonna put 10 divisions into training just in case I get naval evaded so I can actually survive. Improve worker conditions. Also, let's start doing the atomic research. 444 days. Haha, <laughs> funny reference to my Discord server. So I'm gonna draw a naval invasion like this and also like this. Next focus, does it even matter? Let's go for Australian arms production. Overwhelming firepower. Let me justify the UK myself quickly. Let's get that air force. Let's declare war on the UK. Not enough naval supremacy, come on, how? Well, I'm just gonna use all my planes and send them into the English Channel, it should be more than enough. Okay, it's enough. 
All right, we managed to land. Let's send our entire army here now. And here's the thing I want to do. I don't want to take London. For rule Britannia achievement, I need to control every single state in Britain. Not Northern Ireland, just Britain itself. But if I don't get to control London, I can actually control entirety of Britain except for London without capitulating them. And that's what I want to do. So let's instantly start pushing north. Nice one, British AI. Just get yourself encircled. But let's do South Australia Housing Trust. And we got control over this state as well. The only state we don't control now is the Greater London area. So I'll grab control of it now. I tried to time it so that I take the London right after the midnight. Alright, it's 9 a.m. I should get the achievement now. Rule Britannia, here it is. That's the third achievement. UK is gone. What do I need in this peace deal? Not much, honestly. I don't really care about it that much. I just want to have some rubber. And you know what? I'm gonna try to steal Canada. I'm gonna attack USA. I don't have to do anything at this point anymore. I just want to attack USA. The Bulgarian government supports the IMRO, which is exactly what I wanted to see. The world, by the way, looks like this. I think there is UK. Of course, there is always the UK existing on Pitcairn Island. This guy's been a loser gentleman at this point. It's interesting how I can see what focus is the USA doing, but I can't see how many divisions they've got. Okay, now I can see it. Oh, 90 divisions. Uh, I've seen worse. Let's do this focus now. Time to make the new plane. I guess this is alright. My justification is ready, but my troops are still far away. Here we go. Barbarossa. Let's annex Australia because Germany has war goal on them, so if I leave the Axis, I'm getting killed by Germany. Let's declare war on the USA. Let's also deploy all the planes. I'm trying to naval invade. Yeah, I just let them have it. Nice encirclement here. And these guys got themselves encircled. <laughs> nice one. We took Boston. And Japan attacked them as well. And let's finally do uranium mining. This will give me two research bonuses for nuclear research. Man, I love Australia. We're already at zero manpower. Well, I guess it's time to annex some of my puppets which have manpower. Nice joke. None of them have manpower. There's Turkey. Okay, I can annex Turkey. I'm gonna send them some convoys. Do the good old manpower puppet annexing exploit. Probably know what I'm talking about. Finally, we took Washington. Japan attacked British Malaya. Wait, British Malaya is still British? Oh, yeah, we're at war with the UK, who is a major who capitulated. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Japan even attacked Indonesian order. They just attacked the Axis. They are not at war with almost everyone except for Soviet Union. So, after this World War II, Britain is now fighting alongside Germany. Alright, let's now research nuclear reactor with the bonus. Let's finally do research collaboration for that last research slot. Two agents captured in two days. What? Yeah, whatever, I don't care. If I cared about individual lives, I wouldn't conquer this much of the world. Italy declared war on the Swiss Confederation. I'm somehow at war with them as well. Mm, yeah, whatever. Turning the tide? What? I just deleted a bunch of divisions and somehow I got this. Boom, there goes the turkey and I get like, what? 400k manpower, that's amazing actually. And that's it, the USA is gone. Funny thing is we got both the UK in like these islands and free France in these islands in this war. They somehow managed to steal the stuff from Vichy France. Also there's British Raj here, just look at these countries existing. There's British Malaya here, but I don't care, I'm just gonna annex them all and I think I'm going to puppet the USA for myself. Okay, so here's the peace deal, I annexed everyone except for the USA which I puppeted. I stole tons of their factories however through the reparations thing. And also all of the resources. Anyway, all I'm gonna do now is basically chill, do nothing, just research nuclear reactors. Another thing I need to do, I need to send some land lease to Bulgaria. First I'm gonna send them some convoys so they can actually receive actual land lease. Let's annex Canada because they're pointless. Bulgaria has received the convoys, now I'm gonna send the actual equipment. Like 5,000 guns and 2,000 support equipment. Also I'm gonna put a bunch of Bulgarian divisions into training because I don't want them to have manpower so they don't actually deploy their own troops and don't waste their own equipment. Now I think of it, I should have tried to steal Norway because then you can do the heavy water project, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's get Quartermaster General. And we got the nuclear reactors, let's now research nuclear bombs and I'm gonna start building nuclear reactors all across Turkey and later on Australia as well. Let's get a large airframe because we're gonna need strategical bomber for nuke. The Dawn of European Entente, Ireland, Switzerland, why the hell would Ireland create faction with these guys and get involved into a war? Oh look at this, this is pain to look at. Let's send some more equipment to Bulgaria. The Bulgaria isn't doing what I want them to do, so I'm annexing them pronto. <laughs> let's delete their divisions. Steal the manpower. I'm gonna re-release them. Not even kidding, I'm gonna release them again as my puppet. 
what I'm really trying to make them do is the IMRO decisions, and I'm sending them all the land lease and the things that are necessary for them to do it, but they just won't do it, it seems. That's why I could core Macedonia and New Kid instead of New King Actual Australia. Also, look at this funny Egypt jump scare. Since that doesn't work, I guess I'm gonna start justifying on Japan then. I guess I'm gonna send my first army here up in Northern Australia. I'm also gonna build some airports up here. So yeah, Japan, please invade me. They could because they have a pretty big navy. Yeah, talking about the navy, let me just delete all of it except for the pride of the fleet. Yeah, free manpower. Actually, I didn't get any of it. Yeah, it's fine. I think that's another instance of Paradox fixing a bug by making another bug. Clairvar on Japan. The first reactors have been built. Now when I think of it, I should have left the axis. Yeah, I should have left it. Wait, I can simply turn off the supply for my allies so they die from the attrition. Despicable me. Why does Italy have so many divisions in Palestine? They got 40 divisions in Palestine. Brussels Treaty signed. What? Italy claims Montenegro and Throne. No. The IMRO is back. Finally. Finally, they did it. Let's persecute the IMRO activists. Right, and just as I'm trying to court this, they nearly invaded Northern Australia. I can destroy their divisions. All I really need to do is to make sure that they at least occupy the province. They don't have to have any divisions there. I'm not gonna take this province, although some of my allies might. Let's produce some strategic bombers in the meantime. Let's destroy IMRO. My great allies took this province, but luckily Japan nearly invaded me again. If they didn't, I'd core Macedonia, annex Bulgaria, release them, attack them, and they would join the Japanese faction and most likely occupy one province, then I'd just nuke Macedonia. But it is what it is. I get to nuke my actual self. As you can see, yeah, I just core Macedonia, it's my core. Okay, now this is getting a little bit out of hand. Imagine if I just capitulate now. That would be funny, but so painful. And the nukes are just re No, they're not. Okay, now they're researched. How long does it take to build one? Two weeks. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll try to retake my airport. There's one, like, here somewhere. Here it is. I took it back. We go to the airport. Let's deploy some strategic bombers. And we got our first nuke. We actually don't have the air superiority. Well, let me fix that real quick. I wish they controlled Sydney so I can nuke it. I'm just gonna nuke this place. Central Australia, nobody lives here. It's even impossible. Boom. Nuked. Atomic bombing of Central Australia. Nuclear bomb has been detonated in Central Australia as part of international warfare. There is no warfare here. That should get me the achievement, I think. Yeah, it got it. Alright guys, that's it for the video. All the achievements. As Australia in OE4. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next one. I think I'm gonna play Ethiopia next. Comment down what country should I play next. And yeah, goodbye.